Hey, this is Dave again. I uh, thought I'd make a video this time um, on some of the software that I buy that I use on my computer. and um, I'm sure a lot of you look for reviews of software and see if they're any good or, you know, anything like that. Um, one of the software um, anti-malware and internet software that I like that company I came across is uh, M MCSoft. Um, found that a while ago. I used to use Norton 360 and I still do but I only use Norton 360 now like for the identity safe toolbar to save my passwords in. Um, and of course I use Malwarebytes too and I get the professional model of that. You know you're on the internet nowadays there's so much junk and garbage out there that it's nice to have the free versions but Sometimes it's nice to pay for them because, you know, they're more proactive and and um, I think they do a better job than, you know, a lot of us don't have enough time to come on there every single day and, you know, click scans and stuff and do everything that um, that the actual programs do. Um, but I, I really like MCSoft. I had the anti-malware and I know they come out now with another one and I just bought that one so I ended up. Um, upgrading to this one so um, and it's called MCSoft Internet Security and um, it's down in my program here if I double click on it here I can bring it up and let you see it um, I mean I really like it I mean I like the interface of it um, you know and it's simple to use and they have a really nice forum that you can go to um, and ask questions about stuff and um, and, and since I've had it in there, it, it's amazing when you, um, if you don't set the, um, like, logs up here, um, like these, like, look at this as a surf log on here, I mean, and I just had this in here for a couple of days, you know, and it's already blocked all this junk on here. And, of course, it's from going on the Internet Explorer, but a lot of these sites that I had gone to, were basic sites like MSN and, you know, Channel 3000, which is our local TV thing in, in Wisconsin here. And and before I silenced off the, um, the, the, the message on here, um, you know, for the settings, I think it's in the settings here. Um, no, it's not there either. Sometimes there, there's so much stuff in here. I mean, I'm not that quite familiar finding it really quick, but um, I'll find it here. Bear with me. Not under quarantine logs. It was under protection. Nope. But, um, oh, application rules, maybe. Um. But, oh, here it is. It's under the um, the protection, under surf protection. And down underneath, see, here was um, four, some ones I went to. Um, and if you, this was like block and notify. And, I mean, so every place you'd go, it would come up down here in the corner by the clock and stuff. And I just said, forget it, you know, if it's phishing, if it's malware, if it's privacy, just block it, you know, because, you know, that got to be, an, I mean, it's great that, you know, it's working because it's popping up all the time, but um, I just thought it was kind of, kind of annoying. So anyway, so I ended up block it silently. But when you come to the main screen and overview, this is what it looks like. You got your protection tab there. Then you got your scan when you go into scan. Quarantine shows you there's five of them at quarantine in the logs. 32 objects so far um, that it that it detected. So um, it updates it like regularly. So you get on the bottom here. It's kind of nice. You can click on like MCSoft News. I just clicked on it. Takes you online to to their site and they give you news about stuff like malware that's out there and the the local uh, problems and security threats that are out there and. And um, so it's, it's kind of neat, you know. Um, some programs and, and companies out there, I don't think they do that, but I think, you know, they're for the consumer. So um, 
I think I paid like $49 for this. And of course, you can see I have 530 days left on mine, but I had 100 and some left on my malware, so it added it to it. So now I got over almost two years now on here, which is, you know, it's good. But, you know, you've got stuff on your computer and stuff. And I mean, I work at a store and people are on it all the time. And yeah, it slows the computer down. You don't know what the malware does in there. It causes problems. Time is money. And and uh, it's just it's just frustrating, you know, that that all that junk's out there and all you're doing is just surfing the web and you're not even like going to places you think are dangerous but they end up wrecking your computer and <laughs> and uh, you know how things are we spend half of our life on the computer now tablets phones and everything so um, anyway so if if somebody is really interested in this I mean I'd recommend getting it because um, and I do if you look at what I have running I have that running and I also um, super anti spyware is on there, but I, I saved it on a flash drive just to do a double check, and somehow it loaded it on my computer. So I'm going to remove it because I don't like to have multiple antivirus or malware running at the same time. But I do have um, malware anti uh, premium running on there, and uh, this is just my identity safe. So, and I got CC Cleaner too, and um, the other one I use is. Um, I use um, advanced system care and I pay for that one too and I find that that one um, doesn't hurt my computer at all and uh, it, it does a pretty good job you know um, it's got some other things in the toolbox that you can do in there too that I really like so um, anyway I just thought I would put it out there if anybody's got any questions you can comment or um, ask me I'll be I'll be glad to you know give you my input or you know anything that I've found from this that I've learned from it, or if I can help you, I'd be glad to. So thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.